healthyhappylife.com and findingvegan.com and you are watching my episode number three of Kathy's Matcha Chat sponsored by my favorite matcha brand ever, Encha. The most amazing brand, obsessed. I've already blended up my matcha and I'm currently sipping it. That's so good. sharing with you my five must-have tips, items, tricks, whatever for when I travel. Thing number one that I absolutely need when I travel is to be well hydrated and along with that I love to bring one of these bottles on my trip. I don't fill it obviously before I go through security because you can't take liquids. But when I get to my destination or once I'm through security, sometimes airports will have those purified water stations now where you can fill this up for free and then you don't have to spend $5, $3 to $5 on a bottle of water at the airport. Thing number two is snacks. Snacks, snacks, snacks. Very important. You want to bring healthy snacks on a flight because Otherwise, you're going to find yourself hungry at some point. So, one of my absolute favorite things to do on a flight is to bring something like strawberries. So you, you wash them at home, and then I will go through. I will get a giant baggie like this. Take off the tops to all of them. And start filling the bag. I did this on my last flight, and it was heaven. So then this entire bag will be filled. Okay, so the cool thing about bringing fresh fruit like berries or strawberries or apples is you can't bring liquids through security, but you can bring fresh fruit. You get through the other side of security and you have this fresh fruit that you brought from home and you're sitting there eating just this giant bucket of fruit and you're feeling so smart and cool because it tastes amazing, it's super hydrating, it's filled with antioxidants, and you didn't have to pay anything for it except what you paid when you bought it at the regular grocery store where if you bought a small fruit cup at an airport, it'd be like $7, 6 to $7, 5 to $7, I would say, depending on how big it is. And I don't know about you, but I have very rarely gotten really good fruit cups at airports, so this is way better. So that's my favorite snack to bring when I'm traveling. The other snack I love to bring is a homemade peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It's so simple. But they keep really well because you can just wrap them up, put them in a bag. My go-to is to just buy a couple vegan protein energy bars and bring them with me. I have, these are just the brands I have on hand. <laughs> this is a Zing bar. These are actually really good. They're vegan. And then of course, Laura bars or Lara bars, Laura bars, Lara bars. These are my two favorite flavors, peanut butter and jelly and peanut butter chocolate chip. I also like the cookie dough flavor. Whole Foods and these. And they're very, very condensed. So if you eat one of these, you want to make sure to hydrate along with it. So if you eat this, you want to drink at least eight ounces of water, sometimes more. These nut butter pouches. I love these. Justin's are pretty easy to find. I love these artisanal ones too, with this raw walnut butter is very good. Pop chips are really great. I really like this snack called Hippies. They're like made from chickpeas. So the other thing that I absolutely need to bring on my trips because I'm obsessed are noise canceling headphones. I actually got a pair for my mom a few years ago and because she hates flying and it just freaks her out. Um, and so she tried these noise canceling headphones and it was like night and day for her. She was like, it was like I was in space. <laughs> Whenever I put them on, I think of that as that she says it is like she was in space. Because it is. It's like you're in outer space and there's like no noise all of a sudden. So you just flip them on at the beginning, right before you take off. You put them on <laughs> and it cancels out all the ha 
are like all that buzzing that goes on in an airplane while you're flying. You can hear your music better if you're playing music. You can hear a movie better if you're playing a movie. It, they're just awesome. Then when I'm like done using them, or when I'm just like getting through security, I'll just leave them around my neck because you look like super cool. <laughs> like, you know. <laughs> But you don't have to put them in your bag, you just go like this, and then you know where your headphones are. So these are a must have for me. They're not cheap, I think they're like $300, maybe? But I use them so much, they're so worth it for me. So the first thing is to hydrate, hydrate, hydrate the morning of, during your flight, and after your flight. Number two is to have healthy snacks so that you're saving money and you're also prepared. Number three, Headphones. Need my headphones. I need to have that noise canceling going on when I'm flying. Number four when I'm flying is actually kind of interesting because it's a giant bag. <laughs> Ta-da! This is from Psycho Chick. It's a vegan company based out of Texas and she designs just these great things and just bags and clutches, um, little wallets, and it's very soft. This is probably one of the softest vegan leathers I own. Handmade in Dallas, Texas since 2003. I love this company. Here I can put my iMac, wait, MacBook Air in here. I can put my charger. I even put my camera, my giant camera in here with that. And then I'll put my snacks. It's just, I can put so much stuff in here. And it can be hard to find one that's a good sturdy bag that's vegan, that's large, and just works really well. So this is my go-to travel bag. So number five is probably not a huge shock to you since this is Kathy's matcha chat. <laughs> these, these travel matchas by Encha. They're so awesome. I'm just gonna go through a few more things that I have to bring. So I love to bring socks on my flight. My absolute favorite sock brand ever is Thorlo. If you've never worn a pair of Thorlo's, you have to try them. They're so soft. Oh my god, I love them so much. Also, my friend Cam, she makes this lip balm, Be Sweet Lip Balm. Um, there's a vegan variety and it's just, it smells like lavender. I love it. Um, also a charger, a phone charger. I always bring a phone charger. I think that's it. I think that's all of the things. Yeah, so those are some of the things that I always like to bring when I travel. Add in about a cup of almond milk for Brazil nuts. So Brazil nuts are one of the few foods that are super rich in selenium, and that's a very important mineral. So oh, then I'm going to add in a bunch of wild blueberries. Wild blueberries are super rich in antioxidants, fiber, and about a cup of frozen watermelon cubes. I love frozen watermelon because it's very hydrating in the smoothie. And the last thing I add is about a half of a frozen banana, and then I'm going to add in some ice. smoothie like this is to add in some fresh non-frozen fruit. So even a couple of fresh strawberries, some fresh blueberries, or even the, using a fresh banana, adding some sort of a punch of fresh fruit to your smoothie is a really great way to enhance the flavors. I don't know if you can see this color very well, but it's gorgeous. This is like the strawberry blueberry color. Mm. Oh my gosh, so good. Yum. You can totally taste those, what, three to four, three large fresh strawberries. You can really taste them. Be sure to enter the giveaway. Every single matcha chat has a giveaway attached to it, so don't miss that. And I'll see you guys next time. I'll get... Or a book on tape, book on tape. <laughs>
phone away from the 80s. <laughs> oh my god. So like an audiobook. Those are the main, those are the five things that I have to bring when I travel or do when I travel. And I'm cat. Sushi. No. So I'm just gonna go through a few more things that I have to bring. I love to bring socks on the flight, so if my feet get cold or even when I arrive, I like to put them. So she can do that. I just realized that the cats. Hey, kitty. You didn't upset us the whole thing. You weren't in the video. Hey, kitty. Bye. Hi there. Okay. All right. Whenever I travel, I bring a little notebook or. <laughs> There's the cat eating my leg. Face. Don't do that. <laughs> so, anyways, um, well, I 